Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently working on bringing our fleet back to its former pre-war glory. We're also working on getting our constructions properly underway. Let's bring this up to fastest speed. Yes, we're technically in this war with the Zeltec Progenitors. We do not care about this war. This is completely and totally irrelevant. We are not participating in it. The price of alloys is quite high. Actually, really high. Well, we're definitely not buying alloys right now, I can tell you that. This would be a good time to sell them. We're also not going to do that. We need our alloys. So we're going to just wait for that price to drop. Let's take a look at what we've got going on jobs-wise here. Okay, this trade station needs a demotion. Yeah, that's the way that that's been. All of these pretty much are going to be demotions, right? Yes. All of those are demotions. Okay. The Tebadoran Corporation just subjugated the Habinti Unified Worlds. Okay, that's interesting. We want to be thinking about our Federation. How long before we are no longer the president? When does this change? I know we found that previously. We found where this is, or when this is going to change over. We're the leader of the Federation right now. And it's, okay. We've got about another 28 years in our term. Sounds good. So we can't currently change a lot of things here. We could change war declaration over to a majority vote instead of a unanimous. And same with inviting members. Separate treaties being prohibited would be interesting, but I don't think we need that necessarily. Everybody would be in favor of it in theory. And we definitely want everyone to be able to construct the Federation fleet. So we can't currently change up towards random or challenge. Ultimately, strongest is probably not going to be us, right? We need to move up our Federation centralization. I'm not sure we're going to be able to take full control of this Federation this time around. So we may have to wait. I think for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to switch War Declaration over to a majority vote. And we'll make our way through that. Cool. So that's looking good. Now the question is, what is our next set of moves? Well, we have 5.1k alloys right now. We have two mega structures being built. And it looks like, I think the Federation Law passed? Yes. The Federation Law passed. Perfect. So the succession type we'll need to eventually change we'll see what this is looking like how are we doing on our level here we're about to go up to level three okay so we need 102 xp for that not too bad we could assign an envoy here we have this guy not doing anything and i think we'll definitely do that so that's looking good we do have this terraformation happening that's all well and good cool how much do we need to reinforce our fleets a hundred and four thousand but that is with these two new fleets. So that seems fine. No major issue there, I think. Yeah, 104,000 is a lot. No doubt about that. But we're going to continue Research to make our way through this. Now, Applied Superconductivity comes through. We're currently working, I believe, if I recall correctly, under the Edict of Increased Megastructure Construction, right? Yeah, so we can get another mega structure going. Excellent. Still 8.23 on the price of alloys. Wow. Okay, that price is just kind of floating very, very high. So we have Sentry Array. We have a Science Nexus. We have a Strategic Coordination Center. We would need to get access to the Mega Art Installation. Oh, we have a Mega Shipyard as well. We need a Mega Art Installation. We need an Interstellar Assembly Site. And that's it for now. So we can put a Mega Art Installation in here, in theory. Sure, that'll do. We'll get that going for 5,000 alloys. Cool. So with that underway, we can certainly proceed here. We're going to need a lot more alloys. Like, a crazy amount more alloys. That's why I keep hoping that we're going to have additional jobs good to go. But we're definitely hitting low pop growth. These guys just pledged secret fealty to us. 
That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, so this war just ended, and yeah, nothing really changed there borders-wise. That's absolutely fine. Are we content with our borders at this point? Honestly, probably. We do have a lot more work to do, of course. And work we will indeed do. This science chip isn't doing anything because it doesn't have a leader. Okay, we'll put in the head of research here. And that should be assisting research at Tiamat Prime. Cash Query is down in Nixrus right now. And I believe that there's... Oh, there is some stuff in Terminal Egress to go grab. Sure, Upscaling go complete. grab that. That looks good. The Riox Starbase finished its construction queue. Well, we need to continue to upgrade that for sure. And Tiamat here, it needed an additional building here, if I recall correctly. Yes. We'll put in a disruption field generator, I think. Arguably, an ancient shield overcharger is better. Arguably. Okay, we'll do that. That's fine for now. Now, we have another construction ship that isn't doing anything. And I want to take a look up over this direction. I think that we have a gateway here. This gateway is located right next to the Hyper Relay. I think at the very least we need Hyper Relays in Riak and Iplod. So we're going to head up over this direction and get those queued up. So that'll do for now. That's bare minimum. We're probably going to put a gateway in like Riak after we're done with that. Yeah, I think that does make sense. So then we'll build a gateway over here as soon as we can. Where is it? The gateway in here. There it is. So we'll queue up a gateway site to be right there. Cool. That's looking good. The Brack Blessed Mandate joined the Galactic Information on Ton. That's these guys. Hmm. That's spooky. Okay. When is our truce up with the hierarchy? With them on their side, the hierarchy is definitely going to look to fight again. So the truce is up until seven years. We've got seven years. We need to be prepping for that. That war is going to happen. Okay. We need all the alloys that we can get our hands on. So this is currently set up as a trade station. It really isn't a trade station. We have this tech world here. It is a tech world. Fair enough. It's got a Ministry of Production on there. Sure. We really do need those demotions to happen. This is set up as a forge world. It's an awkward forge world. We would certainly want to replace this with a Ministry of Production, which would actually get us one of these ruler jobs, right? Yeah, that's a politician job. So in theory, that's absolutely fine. I would also want to replace this one with a alloy foundry. Okay. This is currently set up as an urban world. That's fine. We're going to put in fortresses here. So we're going to put in a pair of strongholds there. This is a mining world. I mean, that's fair enough. So that's reasonably fine. We can also clear off this tile blocker. They're going to be looking to go to war as soon as they can. It seems like most people are joining the galactic information on Taunt. Which means that we need these guys on our side if we can get them. Hmm. They've rivaled the Absorbers and the Tuscan Entity. Which means they're probably going to join the Entente. Which means that we're in the smaller Federation. Absolutely. That's potentially a problem. The Tevadoran Corporation is still considered independent. 
I'd love to bring them in here. Requires excellent relations or an envoy sent to improve relations. What if we did this? They would not currently accept this. War philosophy allows wars of aggression, minus 50. They're peaceful traitors. Getting the Tepador Corporation into our Federation would be a pretty big deal. Everybody would vote for it currently. Well, we're not planning on declaring any additional wars. So if we were to go into our policies, we can change our war philosophy over to liberation wars. Only allowed during def claiming is only allowed during defensive wars or against Gestalt consciousness empires. So if we were to do that, and then come in here, now there's only two reasons. Their opinion is going to start going up. There's a month tick there. It went down by two last month. Okay. So let's send them a gift here. Where is proposed trade? I know it's in here somewhere. Offer trade deal. Okay, so we're going to send them consumer goods. We're gonna send them 1,500 in exchange for, okay, they don't wanna give us a favor. I wanna just send them that and see if that'll boost relations here. They'll accept it eventually. It will take some time, though. There is some border friction here. And they do view us as a threat, which is kind of strange. We have absolutely no plans to do this. Okay. Did that boost opinion at all? No. Cool. So let's send additional people to improve relations here. We'll send Quick Thought. Minus two currently. We need to get two reasons. That should have actually gone through by now. Yeah, that should be fine. There, now it's going up. So, Invite to Federation is at minus two reasons. 18 of those, or rather, just two reasons right now. Friendly attitude plus 30, opinion plus 18. This went up by zero. Combat detritus reprocessed for a cleaner galaxy. Okay, cool. We analyzed the debris and terminal egress. I would definitely like to get these guys in here. Do we do a migration treaty with them? Yes. Yes, we do. It will cost us influence, but we want to get these guys into our Federation, and we can do it. This will be a very, very big deal for us. The Kelzen Mandate revoked their embassy with us. That's fine. So it's currently plus four. That's looking good. 2.2 per month from our improved relations. I don't think they've accepted our open borders, or rather our migration treaty. Yeah, they're currently considering it still. Pious Confederation, sure. We're just playing the diplomacy game right now. Okay, so last month it, month it changed by plus four. Last month it changed by plus one. We're only two reasons away from acceptance here. So, anyone else that we want to work on? The Tuscan entity is under the absorbers, so that's not a problem. Who else is independent? I mean, there's these guys up over here. They're a protectorate. And that's, of course, the state down this way. Sure. There's these guys over here, and I would absolutely love to do that. One thing we could theoretically do. Is we could declare a war out over this direction. Of course, we'd have to change our war policy back. 
and go after these guys. That would be after we get the Tepidoran Corporation. That secret field to you is broken. Okay. That'd be after we get the Tepidoran Corporation into the Federation here. For sure. Two reasons away. And this is not going up all that much. But diplomatic efforts are beginning to pay off. We are beginning to find common ground on many diplomatic issues. So we're just looking to get an additional ally here against the galactic information on Taunt. That's the primary goal at this moment. The hegemony up here, they are unfortunately on the wrong side of things. Detritus analyzed. We're at 10k alloys at this moment. I want to check in on this here. Yeah, that's all still going nicely. We could definitely continue to reinforce our ships. What is the current price of alloys? It has dropped somewhat, but not as much as I'd like to see. Hey, our Federation level unlocked. So we get some trade value, trade protection, and Federation influence gain for the president. That's looking good. We're actually approaching the absorbers in economic power. So can we bump anything up here? We could go up to challenge or random. I don't think I'm willing to do that at this moment. I don't know that that's actually helpful for us. Well, do we need to solidify control of the Federation? Not really is the answer. We don't really need to, but we could move up our Federation centralization for sure. So we'll get going on that. And then the Tepidor Corporation here, we just need a little bit of opinion with them. So how would we want to do that? They're already associated with another federation. So they'd need to break their federation association status, right? And then they'd need to join us. We could invite them directly as a full member, but they have two reasons to not accept. Okay, we're now in medium federation centralization. That looks good. We could go up to medium fleet contribution. The Tuscan entity would oppose this. I don't believe we need a unanimous law or a unanimous vote for that. Pretty sure we don't. So that's reasonably fine. Monthly cohesion would go down by 0.5. But I don't think this is all that necessary either for the moment. We could definitely go to majority vote for invite members. That seems okay. So we'll propose that. We just need two reasons here. Last month it changed by zero. Last month it changed by zero. So we appear to be capped at 150 from improved relations. What else can we get here? Red is bringing it down by 85. Border friction by 24. What can we do? We could try to get some favors. The best way to do that would probably be rare crystals. So that's 50 reasons not to do it. Oh wow, that's actually quite cheap. 400 rare crystals for a favor? I don't know if we can use the favor to ask them to come to the Federation. We probably can though, if I had to guess. Economically, they're pathetic, but just joining us will help them economically. And now they actually would accept this. Even without calling in the favors. Okay, well, we'll call that good. And we'll invite them to the Federation. We, of course, vote yes on this. Everyone else will as well. So we invite the Tebador Corporation in, and then I would really like to bring these guys in, the Akarazurian Multistellar. I don't know how realistic that really is. I think we'd have to conquer them. The Tebador Corporation likes their trade deal. They are going to be invited in. I, I'm 99% sure of this. So we'll let that go. That's absolutely great. We're at 4K Audio alloys right now. Request contact. And there we go. Beautiful. 
So we can invite them into our federation. They are now a member of the Harmonious Mercantile Assembly. That looks good. We are currently losing federation XP. Let's see. We would need to move these guys, but we can't do that just yet. So we're losing 10 XP right now, presumably because we just brought in a new member. Well secluded, I see all. Fantastic. So that is our construction of our sentry array fully completed. So the strategic coordination center is still being worked on. And we're still building our mega art installation as well. How are things going up over here? Hyper Relay is still under construction. So we've still got a lot of work to do there. But broadly, that's all looking good. Riak is going to need to be upgraded. And we're going to need to continue to pump out ships. This really does need to be a focus. So the Habint Unified Worlds. Where are these guys? They're a subsidiary under the Tabadoran Corporation. Okay. So that's good. They are, of course, under the Tabadoran Corporation, which means that they are also part of our Federation. So that's great. We did manage to get ourselves... Oh, the Saloran Multitude is part of our Federation now, too. I didn't even realize that they were under the Tebadoran Corporation, but that is right. They were. So that actually brings us quite a lot of additional power to the table. That's great. So basically, the only ones remaining now are the Icarzurian Multistellar. Which is interesting. They're mega corporation and ruthless capitalists. So we don't really have any way to declare war on them, although we could impose ideology on them. Which would be an interesting way to go about go about it. War is waged to force one's ethos and government form on the enemy. In the event of a status quo peace, systems we occupy will be released as a new ideological ally if they include at least one planet. Fascinating. I would like to be able to subjugate them, but we can't do that currently. It'd be interesting if we were able to subjugate based on Federation power instead of based on Empire power, though. Obviously, they would not accept this. They have 2,000 reasons not to. Indeed. That's, uh, that's a lot of reasons not to accept that. And we do have negative Federation XP right now. So we do want to assign our envoys here in about 100 days. That's reasonably fine. How are we looking on our jobs here? Okay. We definitely do still need these demotions. How long is, are those going to take? 500 days? Sure. That's going to take some time for sure. Those are all 500 days there. What about this one down here? Yeah, also 500 days. Okay. We're going to lose a Federation level, awkwardly enough. Because we're losing cohesion. We're on Federation centralization of low. Monthly cohesion impact of 4.15. There are nine envoys assigned. But yeah, XP generated from cohesion. So we're on minus 100 cohesion at this moment. That is going to be working its way back up, I'm pretty sure, if I remember how that works correctly. Yeah. Yeah, now our cohesion is starting to come up. But that Upscaling will take time. Complete. That's fine. We are dropping off of level 3, which is going to be awkward. We'll lose perk effects. But will we keep our laws? We might. But it'll take time to work this back up. We can assign images in monochrome over here in three days. And so we shall. There we go. That will boost things a bit. And we can also assign Quick Thought in 18 days. So we'll get that going as soon as we can. Another 10 days. Any moment now. Gotta love late game Stellaris. <laughs> Three, two, one, and zero. Okay. So we'll assign him in there as well, and that will boost up our cohesion. Cool. 
So we're going to start gaining Federation XP soon enough, but bringing these guys in definitely did hurt our cohesion temporarily. We might dip down a, a Federation level. That's probably okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. We're going to work our way back up here. No real problem. Beautiful. Now we do need to continue to reinforce our fleets. No doubt about that. And we will get there. We're building our gateway site in Riak now. Ah, the Star Fortress needs to be upgraded. There we go. That is underway. And the cash query does not need to be just sitting up here. We should head back to, like, Cosmalian Prime and assist research there. So that'll be absolutely fine. And 500 days until we see these demotions. So that's good. We'll get those pops put to work at that point. We're currently making 1,300 alloys per month. What is our current edict here? We actually don't need architectural architectural renaissance at this moment, do we? It's okay, I think. But we should ditch it and go for will to power, I think. We'll go for that right now. We could also always swap to a grand fleet, which is not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. I don't feel like we're hugely influence limited right now. Although we might get influence limited a little bit later on as we continue to construct things. So will to power, I think, is reasonable. We'll keep that around. But with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to bring up our Federation co cohesion again. That'll be absolutely great. And we need to prepare for fighting the Galactic Information on Taunt. It's going to be painful with the Brack Blessed Mandate in there. These guys are powerful. So we need to prep for that. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.